this is acting like a virus, it's propagating through massive populations on the, the global scale. And to think that this is not a virus, that this is some sort of warfare of some sort, um, is outrageous. This information can just hurt things. The reason why we're doing social isolation is to prevent transmission of a highly contagious virus. And then if we question the authenticity of that information, if we think that this is not a virus, because that's what the conspiracy theorists are saying, that it's something else that's causing this, then we have some real big problems that are going to be facing us. And we're not, we're basically turning a blind eye to the, to the scientific evidence. Um, I know it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating to be socially isolated. Uh, it is very harmful to all of us. We, we are social animals. We need to spend time with other people. But I have faith in the information that I'm being given by the government, by the news media, that this is real and true. The riffraff, the way I look at it, is people thinking as if they have an alternative explanation, that this is they, they have it right and the rest of society has it wrong and they know better. Immediately, the red flags are, are warning right there. So it bothers me that somebody thinks that, they've, that they have got a new insight into this and then after all, this is not a virus, that this is something else that's causing it, whether they're exosomes caused by molecular biology at the cellular level, that's what we hear about exosomes. Is this an exosome or not? It doesn't matter, it's contagious. The exosome refers to, at the cell level, how is a virus transmitted from one cell to the other? And so that's com that's, that, for example, is coming from a psychiatrist. It doesn't matter in the end. It doesn't matter how it's transmitted at the cell level. We know it's being transmitted from person to person. So we don't look at the cell level, we look at the individual level. And so helping to dice up this information and dissect it and to understand it, this is where it's better to understand it from a clinician um, who is uh, skeptical of all the information that's coming through. Mm -hmm.